Good morning, Level 2s. Thank you for joining me in today's lecture. My name is Dr. Collingwood, and this briefing was called in order to help you properly secure and contain SCP-2030. By the end of today's lecture, you should understand four aspects of SCP-2030, its general subject matter, the identity of the participants, the identity of SCP-2030-1, and lastly, the containment procedures for all and any instances of SCP-2030. Uh, please hold all questions until after the presentation. <clears throat> Thank you. Now, on to Aspect 1. What is SCP-2030? Oof. As interesting as that presentation was, it still can't beat playing Raid Shadow Legends. It's got a ton of awesome champions, tough bosses, and millions of players. My favorite thing about the game is the huge amount of factions. They've got 13 of them. Right now, I'm playing with the High Elves. They live in their walled kingdom of Aravia. They're easy on the eyes. Their queen is a powerful sorceress. The problem is, it's not always clear whose side they're on. To find out more, you'll have to meet them in the story campaign. For now, here are some of my favorite High Elvian champions. You've got Arbiter, Bellinor, Lysandria, and a whole lot more to choose from. And last month, Raid released their biggest update ever, featuring the Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors, a bunch of secret challenge rooms, and 12 seriously tough bosses to take on. And here's the best part. The raid team are giving away a bunch of new free goodies, plus a super special champion to help get everyone started, Bulwark. He's absolutely awesome in clan boss, and he's also gonna be a huge help in the Doom Tower. So what are you waiting for? If you wanna get a huge head start, click the link below to get your free champion, 50 gems, an XP booster, some energy refills, and even an ancient shard. All this treasure will be waiting for you here, but you only have 30 days to claim these sweet rewards. So hurry up! SCP-2030 is an anomalous phenomenon that manifests as a television series. The medium through which SCP-2030 manifests changes depending on the most popular format currently in use. As of 2014, SCP-2030 most commonly inserts itself into file-sharing websites, paid-on-demand video streaming services, and automated DVD rental kiosks. <laughs> As if anyone still uses those. <clears throat> SCP-2030 subject matter is that of a hidden camera comedy prank show that puts its contestants in bizarre, disturbing, and often anomalous circumstances. It is most frequently aired under the title Laugh is Fun, although it is also sometimes referred to as Laugh is Life or Laugh is Laugh. As you can tell, the only constant is the word laugh. SCP-2030 will mimic the artwork of other more popular movies and television shows to trick viewers into watching the program. Episodes tend to run about 10 to 12 minutes with formulaic opening and closing segments that bookend the hidden camera footage. None of the episodes have end credits. Now for something a little more interesting. Let's get into the second aspect the victims of SCP-2030. Research into the contestants has revealed that all persons on the show were officially documented as dead or missing in the same year that they appeared on the program. So far, our research team has not discovered any connections in the manner of their deaths. Compounding that issue is the fact that the bodies of all recorded contestants are currently missing, making autopsies impossible. Now, I mentioned earlier that participants are placed in bizarre or disturbing situations. Each episode has a theme or a title that is provided at the opening segment. These themes can range from the mundane, such as a beach or a dog, to more visceral subjects, such as arson. Naturally, all participants react with great distress or terror until SCP-2030-1 reveals itself, at which point all parties involved are pointed to the hidden camera and begin laughing, regardless of any debilitating body injury or mental trauma. 
Now, on to the identity of SCP-2030-1. SCP-2030-1 is presumed a male game show host that invariably wears a royal blue three-piece suit with black and white wingtip shoes. He refers to himself as Laffy McLafferson. At the time of this lecture, no one has ever seen the face of Laffy McLafferson. He is only ever recorded from the neck down. Aside from appearing to reveal to participants that they are on a hidden camera prank show, Laffy McLafferson also provides opening and closing commentary. SCP-2030-1 has never been witnessed physically harming any of the victims himself. And now for our last aspect, containment. In order to keep the entity isolated, we have created the web analysis bot Delta-09, also referred to as Laugh Stop. Each one of you in this room will need to be instructed on proper use and maintenance of the bot. Laugh Stop must remain in constant operation, being checked for defects at least twice a week. If you find any defects, please inform a supervisor as soon as possible. The search and isolation of SCP-2030 is ongoing and is considered a Delta-level priority. All right. Uh, now, are there any questions? Uh, yes, Gustav? Is there any known information on the live studio audience? Uh, yes, actually. The camera always turns to the audience at the end of each episode, revealing them to be the same participants in that episode's pranks. Interesting. Also, you said that SCP-2030 can change its medium based on the most up-to-date video formats? What mediums has it appeared in? How long have we been keeping track of this thing? The Foundation has video documentation of SCP-2030 as far back as 1993. But by all accounts, it's currently on its 44th season, which would date it back as far as 1976. It was first discovered by SCP personnel in old video stores as VHS tapes and subsequently DVDs. Some researchers have hypothesized that prior to the VHS, it would manifest on local access television. Are there any other questions? Yes, Gustav? Can you give any specific examples of the pranks that occurred? Certainly. Uh, once on an episode entitled Bees, there was an elderly couple that appeared on the show. The woman was consoling her husband, who seemed to be suffering from extreme indigestion. Suddenly, he started burping at bees. As he began to scream, an entire swarm came pouring out of every orifice on his head. They attacked his wife, and both were paralyzed in horror until Laffy McLafferson appeared. The couple began laughing uncontrollably, even though bees were still pouring out of the man and stinging the wife. Wow. Are there any other questions? Okay, you know what? Um, on second thought, let me close by showing something special to you all. The Ethics Committee has finally deemed it safe for SCP personnel to view the program on a closed network. Uh, this is the end segment from an episode in Season 32. The theme was printers. Ha <laughs> ha! What a ride, eh folks? We've seen printers that eat, eaters that print, and everything in between. Makes you appreciate the old plunker you have back at the office, doesn't it? No, printers may not always work when you want or need them to, but they sure make for some excellent comedy. And that's what we're about here. Comedy! We're here to make you laugh. We hope you laughed. Thank you for laughing with us. That's what we're about here. Come laugh with us again next time. And remember, laugh is fun. Good night. And laugh, and laugh is just laugh. Make more for laughter so as to for laugh. Laugh with us. Laugh with us. Laugh with us. Laugh with us. Laugh. Laugh. Laugh and laugh. You did good in there. Well, I'm not starting my career in stand-up anytime soon, but I think it went well for my first briefing as a level three. 
Thanks for coming to watch, though. Of course. Anything for you. Plus, technically you outranked me, so it's not like I had the authority to deny your request. Seriously, though, I've heard a lot of stuff about SCP-2030 from some of the staff, and I think you really did it justice in your presentation. Oh, thanks, Lawrence. Now, come on. Let's go grab dinner. I'm starving. Yes, ma'am. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. And thanks to all of our donors over on Patreon for helping support the channel. If you want some sweet SCP gear, check out our merch store in the link below. And stay safe out there, everybody. I'll see you all next week.